And good morning. It's Wednesday morning and almost 40 to 39, 40 degrees out there. Time to wake up, JC. And in about two minutes from right now is going to be the first day of spring, and it's going to snow six inches tomorrow. <laughs> No. According to Frank, <laughs> but I don't believe that. Anyway, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting of us. I'll keep my good eye on y'all. This is Athens in the AM on a Wednesday morning edition. We gave Johnny Lee D's today off. Church member been hospital this morning, so he couldn't make it, but he'll be with us, continuing with us next week. Easter services. Steve Ward, if you're up this morning, I know you're not watching. I get a text last night from my buddy Steve goes to church with us, sits beside us every day, and he says, hey, what service are y'all going to Sunday morning? Because John's doing three services on Easter. I texted him back this morning about 2.30. <laughs> I said, Steve, we will be there at the regular time, Seth, at 9 o'clock this Sunday. Next Sunday's Easter. Yeah. Let's try and throw everybody well, he's off. thinking ahead. Yeah, he is. A little bit of doing something. Anyway, Seth Joins joins us this morning. Keep your shirt on, Seth. We'll tell a shot of you in just a second. Good morning. And you too, Tom. I will. <laughs> now, Seth, you always look like you're ready to go somewhere. So you brought some special guests with you this morning. Yes, sir. World's yes. greatest massager, masseuse, yep. Jason. The world's yeah, greatest yeah. massage therapist and his son, who's actually been able to put on some muscle and drop body fat. What are you, 12? 14. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Like I had to worry about that when I was your age. I was like a stick walking around. He was. Now I got plenty. Hey, thanks for bringing that body fat line up. Got plenty of that going yeah. on. Buzz will have some more video from down at uh, Papa Rocco's. And the, we didn't get the parade started yesterday with hundreds of folks. And we'll hear from Senator Richard Shelby. USA Today's got a little article on him this morning, too. Well, that's what's cranking this morning. Got to give a shout out to Athens Hospital yesterday. We had the chamber of coffee there. Had a good turnout. So I want to thank everybody for inviting us over there. Gloria ate two or three muffins while she was there. Get it going I have on. A one. Hee haw! Let's go with the weather this morning. It's springtime right now. That's right. He's making fun of my boots this morning. But let's talk about that weather because, yes, it's not quite as cold as it was yesterday, but kind of chilly out there. 39, 40 degrees, but we are going to see some sunshine today and partly mixed with clouds out there. 56 for your high, 26 for that low. Yes, 50 degrees tomorrow for the high, 37 for the low, and they are calling for snow. Can you believe it? They're saying we can get some sleet, some snow. We shall see. And a rainy, my rainy eye bad weekend. Or that monitor's just blurry. That monitor's blurry. <laughs> Spring has a fish sprung 602 this morning makes it official it's about that That's time right for now. short sunscreen and seasonal allergies i cannot wait what up seth living a dream well, you always live in a dream right? <laughs> always live in a dream tom uh -huh. Good. First day of spring. Yeah, I've had a couple of people get me mixed up with seth on here I that. see those <laughs> all right yeah, seth let's show that well, pig i saw this in Athens now. There he is right there, all puffed oh, up. You like there. that? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. <laughs> well, yeah, you would. Uh, uh, oh. You notice Jamie and I are not in that magazine. Hey, Seth, that. you were talking about all, you brought all those books up here two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Well, in USA Today this morning, there's a new one out now oh. called, uh, it says here, it says, Undone Some Damage to Did to His Health. Move Over, Follows of the Atkins Diet, Mediterranean Diet, and Vegan. A new diet book, one that promotes fasting two days a week by drastically cutting calories and then eating normally the other five days. It's Catching On with Dieters. The name of the book, The Fast Diet, Lose Weight, Stay Healthy, Live Longer with a Simple Secret of Intermittent Fasting. Well, first of all, that's one fantastic long headline. I would mm -hmm. be starving. What? You don't have to do that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you brought all those books up here. Well, like yeah, this. yeah. There's, so this is the newest one. Yeah, there's 900 different. <laughs> 901. So yeah, 901 now. And why would you starve? Your, I mean, I understand doing it for religious purposes, but... Just to lose, to lose weight, weight, you're going to starve mm -hmm. for two days? That's Why? Healthy. Mm -hmm. I would rather eat six times a day and lose weight. Well, that's supposed than... to be better for you. Yeah, that's it is. That's, I eat it's six to eight be. times a day. But you don't eat much. No, you eat small meals throughout the day. That way you never get hungry. All right. I don't like How many that. times a day do you eat? As many as I can. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're hungry. Oh, I figured that. All right. A couple of things going on. Alabama won last night in the NIT tournament. Beat them bad, too. You know, we didn't make the big dance. But Alabama went on a 22 to nothing run in the second half. Wound up beating Northeastern 62 to 43. And the big news was a little college named Robert Morris beat yeah. Kentucky 59 to 57. Mm -hmm. And Kentucky won the whole thing last year. Yeah. 
Don't forget the big dance starts tomorrow on TV all day long. Uh, what was it? If you pick the perfect bracket of the 64 teams in it, it's like a quadrillion chances of getting there. It is. 9.2 quadrillion chances. That's what your chance, huh? Oh. Can you say Quintillion. Quintillion. Yeah, I can't even see it. Well, that, that's good out. odds, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> About like me winning something big. All right. Mm. Did, Frank said he saw the, the show Splash last night. Didn't y'all see that? He watched it. What? Featuring, Frank said it's the best <laughs> thing he'd ever seen on TV besides Cooper Cut. Featuring Catherine Webb, girlfriend of A.J. McCarron. And she had to do a shout out to uh, Brent Musburger. She's dedicated her second moment on national TV to the man who created her first. She said, Brent Musburger, this dive is for you. <laughs> so there you go, Seth. There what's, you a, go. what's a splash? It's a I show on TV that it. Frank loves. I don't know. <laughs> she says Brad says it ain't no good, and uh, Frank says it was mm -hmm. good. Seth, I'm gonna I'll get your opinion on something here in just a second. I'll do it in Frank liked too. what he saw. All right, Hustle Times got a thing this morning. Guess who's gonna be wearing number three this year for the mighty Crimson Tide? That's Trent Richardson's old number. Derek Henry, six foot three, two hundred and forty-three pounds, Dang. will more than likely be the backup back for T.J. Yeldon. 240, that's a, he that's stepped pretty, all pretty kinds, he gained 12,000 yards last year, didn't he? That's a big one. He gained 12,000 yards through his career at high school. Man, that's a big one. That's a beast right there. <laughs> that is a, a big old beast. A uh, couple of things I wanted to go over this morning. Did y'all see that killer in court yesterday? Oh, that was horrible. Yeah, let me go down here and find him. How old was he? 18, 18 years old. Defiant teen lashes out at sentence. Now, this kid here, had this T-shirt on under a, a shirt. He took it off yesterday when he got sentenced. It says killer written across it. He went into a cafeteria last year wearing a shirt very similar to that had killer written on it and killed three students, three fellow classmates, all boys. Hmm. He turned yesterday during the sentencing, Seth. At one point, he swiveled in his chair toward the gallery where his own family members were and those of the slain teenagers. And then he suddenly, even surprising his own laundry, spoke these words. The hand that pulled the trigger that killed your sons now masturbates to the memory. That is then awful. cursed and raised his middle finger toward the victim's relatives. Mm. And sometimes wow. you don't need a trial. Oh, this would be it. one of those times. Mm. I mean, that's a waste of good electricity yeah. to put yeah. in an electric chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. it's, that's a good call for a bull. See, that's my, if these people here have it. already admitted killing somebody, and then is that defined in court, in a courtroom, and to the family to say that, why not just hang him right there on the spot in front of everybody? Yeah. But no, no one of the mothers anyone. says, no, I want you to be tortured long and slow in prison for the rest of your life. What? That's not going to bring anybody back. Get rid of him. That way I don't have to pay for him. Be done with exactly. it. Exactly. Get it over with. We got to pay, wow. too. Speaking of paying, it's all the interesting thing what the government's paying. <laughs> <laughs> the U.S. government is go paying there. billions of dollars to war veterans and their families, and they should, yeah. including monthly payments to children, Frank, of the Civil War. Of the children? <laughs> children of the Civil War. More than 40 billion annually has been paid out to soldiers and survivors of the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, which was in 1898, okay. both World Wars, the Korean War, Vietnam War, the Gulf War. Okay, the Civil War ended in what, 1865? Yeah, well... well Two right. children of Civil War veterans, yeah. one in Tennessee and one in North Carolina, are each receiving about $900 a year. An additional 10 are getting benefits after about 5,000 a year connected to the 1898 Spanish-American War. So did they fight in this war? No, their parents did. Well, then why are we, I mean, what'd they do? Why, well, why wouldn't all children be getting benefits? The spouses of soldiers who die in wars can qualify for lifetime benefits. So they died in combat, so their children receive lifetime benefits. Mm, okay. How far does this go down? <laughs> Forever, I guess. <laughs> Says the government is still paying survivors of World War One twenty million a year, and five billion a year out to World War Two veterans and their families. Everyone will be well, checking now, their family my, tree. My grandpa was in World War Two. I've got the Japanese rifle. So, how much do I get? Did he get killed? 
Well, no. Okay, then you don't get no benefits. Oh, you got to die. <laughs> to yeah, you got to you gotta <laughs> die. But I mean, a family member has the died. Civil War. How do they afford that? Did I do a thing last year for the last hey, widow of, my a, money. of a Civil War veteran? Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. I don't know how many of y'all take yoga. I like yoga. I do yoga. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, you ever heard of Lululemon's? No. They make yoga pants. What was it? They the have yanked its popular black yoga pants from store shelves and online after it found that the sheer material used was revealing too much of its loyal customers. You don't really want to see a, a lot of people of that? that do yoga. <laughs> The like see-through yoga garb is the latest in a series of glitches that threatens to alienate the, re the retailer's hardcore fan base, which has been willing to shell out more than $100 for the yoga pants. Go to Victoria's Secret. Uh, yeah, there are some <laughs> poses that you do not want to see when see-through You ever been in a yoga, yoga class? Yes, I have. I don't want to see no more of people in there so <laughs> saying bring it up than I have to. No, there, there's some poses in yoga. You I'm always afraid I'm going to tweet in a, in a yoga <laughs> Not meaning to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here taking yoga. I have not, but I well, You wouldn't now. be able to get off the floor. <laughs> Especially when it's real quiet in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Hold the, what do they it's call it? The what, Jason, what do they call some of those Downward dog? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you hold that downward dog position. <laughs> now, I... You know, Careful now. You want, you want There's some dog... Uh, um, you want to do some yoga this morning? Y'all know what I'm thinking. Y'all know what I'm thinking. Seth can demonstrate something. Like yeah, that. you can do it with me, Damon. We'll, we'll do I ain't going to do nothing with you, <laughs> Seth. I, I got my whole mind on totally something different. <laughs> <laughs> totally something different. Who was that yesterday? Ray Neese was Ray. saying he's taking yoga. Yes, and that was funny. Okay, you want to see Ray Neese in something too revealing? <laughs> I mean, it didn't say male or female, but come on. You want to see a guy in a too revealing yoga thing? All right, Ray. Backing we need Ray. some YouTube videos. <laughs> Videos of you doing yoga, <laughs> and uh, we'll put them on the show. <laughs> we have that video of him jumping in the pool at Christy and Robert Walls' house. He can't even swim. <laughs> <laughs> Seth, what are you talking about today? Uh, we're going to be talking about, well, how to lose weight, increase muscle mass, of course. This, Same old stuff. Uh, it's, man, it's spring. Daily stuff. Yeah, today, you know? right now, five yeah. minutes ago. And we're going to mm -hmm. have Sebastian on here who's 14 years old and been able to put on muscle mass, decrease fat. If He can do it. He ain't he got no fat. That's Look at him. He's Jason's kid. <laughs> <laughs> what do you weigh, Jason? 100? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost not. Don't get 10% uh, off each and every Wednesday at Herbs and More right down uh, across from Clem Tire and everybody else down that way. Mm -hmm. Parking's at a premium, so get there early. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But, uh, so we're going to talk about that. And yeah, else. and one of the things that we need to do in order to increase muscle mass is restore our hormone levels back to where they were whenever we were younger. It makes it easier. You know what I saw this morning advertised on ABC? It What's wasn't advertised, it was a story. Sex cereal. Really? I'm not to yeah, increase your libido and stuff. Sex cereal. Well, now that's that's a little perplexing. I bought a whole carton. <laughs> Case of it. Well, oh, now, by the way, I, I got a five-year-old at home. I might get that cereal mixed up. We have all kind of problems. Sex <laughs> Oh, all right, Jason. If you're in the market, I know you are for a beautiful automobile for that loved one of yours. Just in time for spring, it's parked over here at Jiffy out front this morning. I left it there all night. A 2000 white four CLK 430 convertible with only 74,000, depending on how many you put on it, 250 miles. <laughs> was in our garage for 10 years, practically. We put 7,000 miles on in 10 years. It is mm. parked oh, right here next door this morning. If Currently. you're looking for it, it is for sale. It is a steal, too. Wait a minute. You got a car that sat in your garage. Well, we drove it a little bit, but it's, we've had it for 10 years. We 7,000 miles, that ain't driving. <laughs> <laughs> but it, uh, I put nearly that much on this weekend for <laughs> There it is, right there. It's a I convertible <laughs> like new. Did the reason I'm it? getting shed of it, as I like to say in New Hope, is because we bought another convertible. Something bigger. There it is again, parked in front of the studio. That would look good on somebody. <laughs> Asking price, 15000 our best offer. Mm. Cash only, no payments, okay? <laughs> That's everyone's question. Here we go. You no, take payments on that? No, no. payments. <laughs> Can I tell one other quick story? 
If sure. You I've got to tell something. You sure forgot to show. tell the story at the beach. <laughs> we're going, we went to the beach. We got on the elevator. You know, the elevator at the beach. Oh, stuff. Nice. Well, there's a bunch of, you know, spring breakers. These girls, I get on the, I've taken the, the thing back. We just moved in. You know, that big old the wall. Luggage. Thing. So Scary. we go down there. I, I'm taking it back. There's three girls at the back of the elevator, little girls. Now, all of them are like this right here. Well, two of them look up, but one of them doesn't. She's just doing it. So I get in. I've got no room to move. <laughs> and I'm, I'm on the opposite side from hitting one, going down the 15th floor. They don't offer to move none. <laughs> I squeeze between the thing and the elevator door like this. Said, Excuse me, I'll get it. Like this right here. And I get over here to hit one. They never look up. <laughs> never look up. Well, maybe up. they were told not to talk to strangers. Well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I always find it beneficial to just tell them what to do. Like, reach yeah. over there and do that. Can you hit I didn't want to be rude. Hit one well, see, that's why you got to increase muscle mass, because then everybody's like, oh, God. No. <laughs> well, you would have gotten a better with your shirt off. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. Be right back. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> yeah.